concern. Now we are going to talk about the same topic today, the parable of the prodigal son. Today we heard how the young son who asked his father for his portion of the inheritance and father gave it to him. He received that. And when he received, he went away into another country where he lived prodigally. So it's Rasputna, Bludna, prodigally. And spent all his riches. So soon he came to himself he realized that he was wrong. He repented to his, uh, of his uh, conduct, so of his wrong things, and he returned to his father's home and asked his forgiveness. So, father forgave him. But in English, I would like to talk to you about other son, oldest son. Who is the oldest son? When he came back from the field and he found out, learning about the return of his brother and that he uh, uh, he was filled uh, and, and, and he found out that his father killed the, the calf and they are rejoicing. They had a party. He was filled with wrath. And would not even enter the house. The behavior of the elder brother showed that he was proud, egoistic, egoistic, stubborn, and uh, envious, zavistivim, envious. The kind and loving father <coughs> who had gone out to meet his younger prodigal son went to his uh, oldest son. He went outside uh, and lovingly entreated him to come and join in the rejoicing of the home. He treated him, umalal yevo, priti vdom, i vmesti radovat sa sa vsemi. But the loving words only irritated, tolka razdražali yevo, the elder son further. And he said to his father, lo, look, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed. Nikada ni sagrishil. Your commandment at any time. <clears throat> so this, the oldest son, he considered himself a good and obedient son. He, however, fulfilled his father's orders not because he loved him and uh, Revert his will, uvažal, pačital, revert his will, but to show him, his father, that he was not like his younger brother. Sometimes it happens. As you see, everybody has his own weaknesses. The youngest one, prodigal son, and the oldest one was not saint either. Why did he, the oldest one, son, why did he want um, a young goat? <coughs> and yet, you never gave me a young goat. So it doesn't mean you could have done a Тебя я пошел повеселился с моими 
друзьями. He wanted that young goat to feast with his friends. He wanted other company, friends and same. So, and this, he was no different than his prodigal brother. In the heart of the elder son, there was neither love nor even sympathy for his fallen brother who was in need of support. He did not have love or respect for his father either. His heart was full of malice and pride. Его сердце было, было полно малость, злобы and pride, гордости. How did the father respond to his elder son's malicious attitude and pride? He said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. And father continues, It was right that we should make Mary to be glad. Mary, it means Veselita, Radvatsa. We say Merry Christmas. Veselo Praznik, right? It was right that we should make Mary and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, what does it teach us this parable of Jesus Christ? Um, there are many among us, amongst us, who are like the elder son. We consider ourselves uh, a good Christian, but our hearts are full of pride malice and egoism and uh, we are often hard as, a, as stone and cold as ice. Sometimes, quite often, it happens even within our families, between husband and wife, between children and, and uh, parents, between relatives, it shouldn't be. So none of us are sinless. Therefore, let us be kind towards our sinful younger brothers. Let us rejoice and be glad that they have repented of their sinful ways and imitate them in their repentance. Let us imitate them in uh, their repentance. This is what the Gospel parable about the father and his two sons teaches us today. Thank you very much for your attention. May the Lord God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the